What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am here to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So the round off where we left off, we have conducted a bit of an end around and we are deciding to flank the Ottoman Empire and we are attacking Cairo. So without further ado, let's attack. Shan't be that much of a difficult attack. Um, episode on the afternoon of the release of the RTX 3080. However, like most people, um, I did not manage to get one on release because they were, well, one second they were in, they suddenly become out of stock. But I have got, uh, I did put in an order on a website in the UK, in the UK called Scan. I put an order through and they took my money, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be that money is just a pre-order on future stock rather than getting it soon. That's my expectation. Um, because it was really difficult trying to get an order normally. So they take my money, so the cogs are going, so at some point I am going to get one. And I haven't got to go hunting around, which is nice. Um, but it's not going to happen immediately. So what I am going to do is once I've got a bit of a backlog of YouTube videos recorded, potentially this weekend for me, so when when episodes like 13 Colonies 39 or Ottoman uh, Part 9 start coming out, I might actually be building my new PC. Maybe. I find building PCs a bit finicky. Um, <laughs> I don't find it to be super fun, so we'll have to find out. But let's crack on with the battle like this. And they've been pushed all the way back. Fair enough, giving their position. But it looks like, actually... See, I was going to advance, but because they're advancing at me, I'm hoping their gunners will abandon their guns. Really. Because, I mean, I was going to push up. But if they're going to come at me, then fair enough. Let's get my howitzers to drop quick... No, I can't drop quick line on anything. Go after the garrison Israelis. Let's advance this cavalry wing up. I mean, if they're pushing up, they should probably abandon their guns. I mean, to be honest, they could just advance up into them. It's not going to be a... It's not the end of the world. Especially as I can push my cavalry up. With all my foot artillery units, though... Let's run my infantry, let's run my cavalry. Because I've started opening up... Who are they after first? Smack straight onto my grenade guard unit and killed five men. Looking for this flight to do anything special. Because these guys should be able to make a beeline straight for the get straight for their guns. So redirect my artillery fire onto the enemy. Who will soon be in position. Islamic swordsmen are trying to intercept. But they will not. I will not let them. You've got some fire like on populace that could be a bit frustrating. Good. I was hoping... I was hoping my men wouldn't end up being slowed. They will take some casualties from the armed populace. These are, bad, these are the bad boys I'm after. Good, run my horse guard through. To be honest, run my horse guard back here to go hit that Islamic swordsman unit because they are ripe for re the return. Artillery opening up. 
managed to make my cavalry waver. Let's do something like this. There we go. Because these are the guys that are the best to kill, because they're the ones that are the most they can do the most damage. I mean they've not got super high defense, but they can be frustrating if they get within close quarters. Showers on there to those Azars. Everyone else can, can engage in traditional musketry. Go on, General, go after that armed populace unit. These guys can run around and secure the flank. You guys smash into that unit, Israelis. Everyone else here is going to be a perfect position, especially these guys, to fire down the edge of the wall here and get lots of lovely kills. Win. They even got muskets. They do have muskets. But yeah, <laughs> this is this is pretty much a foregone conclusion. Foregone conclusion. Let's get these guys in to help the cavalry. These guys push up. Everyone else is just having a blast. So much speed up time. So I'm losing. It's my heavy cavalry that I'm actually losing the most. But these chaps are about to get charged in the rear from the 101st. And they're shaken up about it. Surprise! Hey, wait a minute. People have come back. You can't come back. Good ideas are suffering for it as well. Let's get my light coverage, chase them down. Everyone else can just take up their positions. Heavy cavalry chase down that Israeli unit. Although I suspect they're going to fall fairly quickly from our musket. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Even if my 3080 order is a pre-order, um, because so many people were unhappy with what happened with the current release, it's nice to have my name on the list as being ready to get a new one next time around. If I build my new PC, I can just drop the new graphics card into it. Which would be nice. Because I don't want to have all my parts sat there doing nothing for however long. They've already been sat there doing nothing for a couple of weeks. There we go. In battle, because our job is only to secure the town. There's a send my cavalry out to raid and secure. Anfall. And a local farm. What I might do actually is I don't normally do this. The start to replace Cairo's civilization with our own. The, these buildings can stay as they are. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I think I can just upgrade them into my buildings. Let's give them a set of walls. Set these guys to replenish. Let's set these two heavy cavalry units to set upon this farm unit here. Wow, those grenadiers are tough. Okay. <laughs> that didn't go well. Oh, I suppose it was just infant cavalry versus infantry. Well, that would have been a, that's a dumb way to lose cavalry, but we can recruit more. Let's, let's, no, let's destroy the major fishery. Our navy's in good strength. You're being rebuilt. Let's start upgrading our infrastructure. Do I don't really need a happiness building. I don't need a religious build. I don't need a research building. But I do want a church school. 
and start trying to recruit some more agents. And I did happen to notice Dana. So we do have another, we have a school here. And they seem to be kind of okay about it, especially as resistance to foreign occupation goes down and religious unrest goes down. I might actually keep you. Although four is rather a lot, especially considering I've researched most of it. So I might get rid of them. Get rid of it so I can build some more industrial techs and start to be, start to really make my economy boom even more so than it already is. 98,000 turn is not to be sniffed at. Okie dokie. So you are preparing for your future war to the north. You are going to break through these fragments here. And make your way west to support. How about everyone else? You, you're sat there not doing anything, so let's move you. You're there waiting for these guys to move. Fascinating if we could push up through Russia and join our front. Especially as we're now at war with Russia, so time will tell. And it may also be time to build up Finland and start to prepare a secondary garrison, or at least a secondary line of defence. Or I could take... Actually, well, we do have a naming request which I need to do, but I can build my heavy first-rate ships of the line next turn. So I won't build recruit an admiral yet because I've got a name request for that. Um, from Patreon, my Patreon requests. And I'm glad things are still fairly stable. Well, I say fairly stable, I forgot all about you guys. So let's get this navy, which I'll recruit a normal admiral for. Let's put, let's put Jamaica. Oh, France is blockading it. <laughs> Okay. Hold on, I need to check out. I need to remind myself what I've got here. Okay, so let's get... Move you out. Move... These guys in. These guys in. But actually, probably... Pun no, keep the conscripts. They've done well. Because it's possible that this could go stupendously well. If I can attack the fort, watch me, so I can punt their navy out, the French will sink it and destroy that stack without me having to actually do anything. At some point, we also need to go take out York Factory. And we do have territories here at Rupert's Land. Well, let's build up, put a bit of a, a bit of a militia army there to hold their own. Everyone else is okay. The main focus of effort is into the centre. So we need to push, take Jerusalem, take Damascus, or do I just go for Baghdad now? Bunch of Armenian archers. Um, mortars. Don't Maybe like mortars, but I do like all of this stuff I have. Let's go secure Georgia. The way. And there is nothing they can do about it. Cannot resist us. Okay, good. Adjust. Um, my bank account, I saw there was a bunch of money about to leave, and I suddenly realised, oh no, that's because of... That's because of my um, purchase of a, of a graphics card. It's funny how accounts have... They seem to use such bizarre names for things. 
Like, you read your statement and it just kind of... You start to think, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Okay. So I'm relocating my defensive or my, my offensive position here because well this area doesn't lend itself well, this area does lend itself to attacking straight up we're attacking directly this side lends itself more to assaulting you've got that slight reverse slope if I was deploying my guns they'd have a bit of a funky time trying to get shots on target so that's why I've decided to go to do a bit of an old switcheroo. Okay. Pound the wall. Pound the wall. Whatever you guys are shooting at, try shoot at it with quicklime first. Oh damn! They did kill a whole bunch of their mortar crews. Okay, let's more specifically target the walls. Actually, you might be better off landing shots there to try and go Pah! kill more men. Let's like, keep dropping shots onto the gate. These poor Georgians. I'm going to crack my way in here with quick line make no mistake. See, they might be more efficient. Well, actually, these guys, all those shots did really badly. Okay. So these guys have eight men left. Well, that is enough to man their guns. He's commanding him to look over there. Look over there. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's like, you know, which side is my better side? My left or my right? So if you slide to the side, that'd be even better. I expect you're probably better off targeting some of these central positions first. Because a good shot here would get a good amount of kills. in a bit of counter battery. See if we get any good quick time shots off. Oh, that's not terrible. We could probably do with taking these guns and have them also focus on this section because these guys are actually firing back at us. But I'm going to speed up time a little bit because right now we're not doing anything except from firing cannonballs back and forth to each other. Managed to get oh they managed to get their cannon crews back down to down to two men so they're not gonna be as strong. Make sure I retarget all my gun teams. Those cannons don't look like they can actually they're actually firing. Well, now they are. They're all moving up in the distance. There they go. It took a bit of persuading. Okay, now you can go back to knocking a hole in the name of this section here. Just want to make holes in the wall. I don't want there to be any bottlenecks, any risks to my invasion. Or at least fewer risks than there is already. I may even get one of you guys to start dropping round shot onto the general's bodyguard. Speed up time a little bit more. 88, one more. One more um, volley. Well, one more after that volley should do it. So what you want to keep an eye on is when you make a breach, they'll immediately run troops around to try and defend it, which makes them a perfect quicklime target. Yes, that was perfect. 
Corps, and they are focusing on... They're trying to make a breach over to this side. Why are you actually firing... Oh, these guys are like this. Yeah, they seem to get stuck on what it is I want them to actually do. Because these are my new targets, because if I can knock those down, it knocks the section of the wall down. And whether artillery unit is getting some good hits on the centre. Oh, I can't remember which one I had targeting this breach. But what I want is to... If I can make it so that I break these sections of wall down, I'll just pummel these guys with quick climb. But I'm not sure what damage level it takes to get to that point. Maybe 75%? Clearly not 75. Actually, I think if I make him hit there, the cannonball will go through the wall and go blah and kill all those guys. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how to destroy that section of the wall then. Either way, now is the time. Although this could go horribly wrong, because these areas are actually still quite well defended. So my cavalry on this flank. Hmm, not sure what else to shoot at. You can't really shoot at anything, except for maybe them. If you can start sniping at these guys, that would be excellent. No, I don't think you can. I don't know who you're shooting at then. I want to keep one of you guys dropping, a couple of you guys dropping quick little shots on people at least. It looks like this section of the wall is going to be um, a bit of a pushover. But yeah, I really don't get. Unless you can, maybe you can't. Maybe that's the benefit of section of the wall. I could just run them in. Run my cavalry in. Okay, the artillery started, so... Attempting to send a unit of marines would we'll send these two units to come over to the breach instead. Get this foot guard on the wall. Get this company infantry on the wall. and run my heavy cavalry over here waiting for this gate to be captured. Don't just run in, you may as well just attack them. Although they've not got a very good charge off, so I might just... Run straight through, avoid... Avoid the enemy cavalry. Go off, to, actually go off to this big unit first. The gates were open for a bit of a fraction of a second. I mean, I want to charge the mortars, but they're charging the general as well. Okay. 
Let's charge my marines in. Let's start to target my artillery with round shot. Now onto the guys on the wall. Just to minimize fratricide. Go on, kill that gunner. It's one gunner, come on. Good, now go after the other guy. Cavalry, just pull through. They also they want to charge through the gates at me. So this cavalry charge charged the unit over line. These guys need to be running. No. Kill the mortar crew. So one unit let's go support their combat. Try to get these guys down off the wall. Then what the hell you guys are doing? Run you guys over to this section. Take this bit of the wall and the heavy cavalry can get involved. Come on, run you guys in. Start forming. Get, get my cavalry out of the way. Oh, my cavalry stuck engaging back here. Come on, get running. So we've managed to outflank this lining from unit on the wall. That gatehouse is not the one I'm really after. My company cavalry is just tying people up. And serving as like meat shields, really. Come on, you men. Take the gate. Bring my heavy cavalry in. General's been killed. Okay, there goes just to stand on the battlements. Not the battlements, just to stand on the center area to capture it. These guys keep firing into the infantry. All my houses just stop shooting because right now they're just causing more problems than solving things. Charge my infantry and Kill them. General's bodyguard's been killed. So we have this last, the second regiment of foot holding strong, but I think they've got all broken. I was gonna say. This infantry unit was just holding on suspiciously well when the rest of their team was running. End battle. Heroic victory. Awesome. Peace of Georgia. Too bad it's got the level 2 forts. Only lost 400 men doing it. So we've technically won our campaign. We've done a long... This is world domination, actually. Technically. Um, but I want to do true, true world domination. That's what we're going to do. 
this city can lose your university. Shipyard could be handy. So much so I might... Ooh, heavy privateers. Let's start building some heavy privateers to start raiding some ports. Because this is our first Mediterranean port, actually, we have here. Actually, it's not seeing too much money into shipbuilding because they could just raid it immediately and kill everyone. Do they have any generals here? I don't think so. Get this man to anchor her. Let's see how many reinforcements we have. You have a Russian agent. Well, to be honest, if they fancy pushing, then uh, they're more than welcome to. Okay, you're recruiting some troops. Let's get two Lancer Guard to go with their... Oh god, no, they can take forever to get up there. Household Cavalry, how far away are you? It's going to take a few turns for this army to muster. Hussars are a long way away. Provincial Cav. Awesome. I could take Baghdad. Um, but I'm going to leave that decision to later because looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.